Hey what's up guys, Baru here from AndroidDoll.com and the day is finally here, it's the 29th of March 2017 and Samsung has just unveiled the all new Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. So in case you guys didn't see my coverage, you guys can go ahead and go to AndroidDoll.com and read all about the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus just like you see over here. So uh, in that article, I have covered all the aspects of the device and it has everything you need to know about the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. I decided on making this video so that I can share my reactions about the Galaxy S8 Duo on camera. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. This is Andrew Dollar reacts to the Galaxy S8. Okay, first let me get one thing out of the way. The Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus are gorgeous. I mean, just look at them. They look absolutely fantastic. And the display in front, the infinite display is amazing. Okay, we have to admit it. Yes, the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus were the most leaked handsets. And we saw almost all the aspects of the device before it even was unveiled. But uh, the good thing about it is we had this display coming and I was so excited for this display because it looks amazing. With the amazing looking display on the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus, the S8 comes with a 5.8 inch display and the S8 Plus comes with a 6.2 inch display. But uh, according to what we have seen, both devices are really compact due to the really minimal bezel and the resolution is a bit funky it has a QHD plus display which has a resolution of 1440 by 2960 and it's a sort of a wider display rather than being wide uh, horizontally uh, it's uh, vertically uh, wider and uh, it seems to be a pretty good move to uh, have more content on the display I can't wait to get my hands on the device to test this one out because I think the device looks amazing especially with HDR on top of this display okay another interesting thing about the Galaxy S8 are the soft keys I always really enjoyed using soft keys because of that extra layer of customization you get with it so this time around with the S8 we get that and I'm really happy about that so the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus still has the same camera that the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge had at the back. That actually might not be a bad thing uh, because the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge had one of the best cameras that I've ever used on a smartphone. Samsung says that they have added in an extra layer of optimization to make the cameras better and uh, reduce the blur and uh, make the images even better in low light. So uh, I guess the cameras are okay at the back. So at the front it has a 8 megapixel sort of a wide angle sensor with auto focusing capabilities as well and I think I'm gonna really enjoy taking selfies on this. Talking about the cameras, I think I just cannot ignore one thing about the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus and that is the placement of the fingerprint scanner. Just look at the back of the Galaxy S8. Samsung, what were you thinking? Seriously, I mean, why on earth would you want to place a fingerprint scanner over the back right next to the camera? Okay, let's just imagine that you want to unlock your device with your fingerprint and you just go and try to unlock your device with the fingerprint, but you miss the fingerprint sensor and instead just touch the camera sensor. What happens? Smudge mania. We don't want that. Okay, please. But I guess at this point, we can't do anything about it. I guess uh, the first thing that I'll do when I get the S8 is completely remove the fingerprint functionality. I mean, I'm not going to use that because I do not want to be a part of smudge mania. Seriously. I would much rather use the iris scanner and those functionalities over the fingerprint mainly due to this. 
at least uh, next time Samsung please try to incorporate the fingerprint scanner in a position where people can actually make use of it rather than putting it right next to the camera where it will cause all the smudges and smudge mania is definitely gonna be a thing so if you think smudge mania is gonna be a big deal just tweet at me with the hashtag smudge mania I think when looking at the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus, one of the main negative things I see is that fingerprint scanner. But apart from that, the device is absolutely fantastic. I mean, I'm waiting to get my hands on it and uh, I just can't wait to buy the device and start using it uh, and to review the device right here on the channel. Definitely hit that like button if you guys are excited for the unboxing and the extra content coming along with it so uh drop a like and subscribe to the channel because more awesome content about the galaxy s8 will be coming right over on android dollar and guys don't forget that there will be exclusive content here on the channel from the launch event of the galaxy s8 and s8 plus here in sri lanka as well so subscribe to the channel because you guys don't want to miss that because I'll be going hands on with the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus very very soon. Another good thing about the Galaxy S8 is Samsung improving the internal storage from 32 gigs to 64 gigs. So now the standard is 64 gigs and I applaud Samsung for that because that was a really bold move and that takes courage. Apple if you're watching this is courage not removing the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and talking about the headphone jack it's still in the galaxy s8 and we'll be getting a special pair of akg headphones uh, right inside the box so that's a really good thing and uh, also talking about expansion and storage uh, the galaxy s8 still has uh, the micro sd card slot so we can easily expand the storage of the device and uh, the device is still water resistant it's still ip68 certified so you can just dip it in the pool and uh, have a lot of fun with it another highlighted feature samsung emphasized on during the launch event is bixby samsung's own digital voice assistant and uh, this is really improved and it has its own dedicated button which shows that samsung is really really into this and uh, hopefully this will work well uh, i'm actually not sure i don't want to comment about it without using it but i'll have more details about it in my hands-on video of the galaxy s8 i really hope that it won't be region specific and uh, some parts of it won't work in some regions like in sri lanka uh, because uh, let's take google now for an instance it still doesn't support sri lanka official and still doesn't work properly so uh, i really hope it won't be that way samsung if you're watching please don't make it that way please make make it uh, available for everyone worldwide the same way so this request is on behalf of everyone who's not from the us uk australia or any of those big countries yeah thanks so the Galaxy S8 is a powerhouse. I don't even have to talk about it. You guys know it's Samsung. Samsung's always going to have the latest hardware packed inside the device. It has fast charging and all the fancy features. And the UI is really improved. It, ha it is running on top of Android 7.1 Nougat. And uh, the device is going to be really, really awesome. I just can't wait to get my hands on it. So now let's talk about my favorite colors. I think I'm really in love with the blue color variant of of the galaxy s8 i really hope it drops in sri lanka if not i think my second favorite would be either the black color version or the silver color version uh let's see i don't think i'll be going for the gold color version because i had the s7 edge in gold so i'm gonna be picking up some other color and i'll definitely be pre-ordering the galaxy s8 uh, and the s8 plus to review here on the channel I'm also really excited to see what pre-order deals Samsung has uh, for the Galaxy S8 especially here in Sri Lanka because uh, this is where I'll be buying my device from. So let's wait and see. Um, I'll have more details on that over at uh, my Facebook page, Twitter page and Google Plus pages all linked down below. So follow me on social media for the behind the scenes and uh, insights on the latest tech and stay tuned to androidall.com because that's where i cover 
all the latest from the tech world and in case you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet now would be a good time to subscribe to the channel well guys that's about it for this video i just wanted to give you guys my reactions to the galaxy s8 i hope you guys found this video interesting if you agree with me definitely go ahead and share this video with your friends and hit that like button because it keeps me motivated to make more videos and why not drop a comment with your reactions because i love to read your comments so follow me on social media for all the latest uh, insights and behind the scene content and stay tuned to adderdoll.com until i see you guys in my next video this is banu signing out